duplicate letters it's a very 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 hot question by many companies because it is not hard not easy but how you approach it you can be drilled down on that grill down on that so you are given an uh, a string s and you have to remove duplicate letters so that every letter appear once again make sure that every letter should appear once every letter should appear once and we have to re remove the duplicate letters and uh, again uh, you must make sure that your result is the smallest in the lexographically order. But yeah, what is the lexographically order? Lexographically order is, okay, if I have something as small, something as large. So basically, I want to make sure, again, this condition is the first condition that we have to remove, remove the duplicates and also every letter should appear once. After this condition is the condition written here that if I have a A, B, A and I want to make this as the lexographically smallest, let's say if I have a B, A, oh sorry, B, A, B, A. Now I have to make it as a lexographically smallest. So I want it. A should come first and B should come next. So I will remove this specific B. I will remove the specific A because of the uniqueness of the uh, characters and then I will have my AB. AB is lexicographically smaller than BA. Bhaiya, why? Because A comes first in the alphabetical order then the B. So whatsoever comes first, I want him to be first. Now as you will see in this example BCA, BCA, BC. Now, just by the simple logic of human mind, how would have you done this? You would have gone to B. Now, okay, you will just put the B here. Then you will go to C. Now, you will put C here, okay? Because it's obvious. C is more than B. So, I can place my B after it. I'll go on to my A. Now, as soon as I was about to place A, I will say, oh, it would have been much better if my A would have been previously than C, right? So, maybe I might try to remove C. But again, the first condition will come in picture that then I might think, okay, I can remove C only when my C will occur in the future. So I might remove C because I know my C will occur in the future. I will put an A. Then, oh, again, B is still more than A. So I again want that, okay, A should be before then my B. So I will again try to remove my B also. Oh, I'll try to remove my B also. Voila. I can only move when I might know, okay, my B is also in future, which I can see. B is in future also. I can I can bring for sure B ultimately in future. So right now, okay, remove my B itself. Now I have A. Okay, A is the first location. What I wanted. Now go on to B. Okay, place a B because it is more than A. So I can easily place it. C, I can easily place it. So you saw, I make a ABC. So what you just saw was the actual solution of this problem, right? Let's take this example. And we will see again our main aim. Okay, it should be lexicographically smallest, which means the small character should come first. That was our main aim. Now the operations which we which we performed while doing the actual while solving and while bringing out the example itself, we will use the same exact same operations. And for all the operations, bhaiya, okay, the operations which we did was that we remembered we had a B, we we had some data structure in which we pushed in B, then we pushed in C. And then when A came in, so you checked from this end of the data structure and then you removed it. Oh, so it is something that, okay, it, it is a, some kind of a data structure in which you are pushing the element, pushing the element, and then you are only checking the top element. And then if your condition is unsatisfied or basically if your condition is satisfied, then you are just removing the top element itself. What is that data structure? That is nothing but a stack. So we know, and again, vector also internally works as a stack. So you can use vector also. So now we know we will use a stack. Okay, that's great. We can use a stack. But bhaiya, one thing also I remembered you were saying that, okay, you should be knowing if C is occurring else in the end. Oh, so if I am at the ith index, I should be knowing that, okay, if my C has some occurrence later on in the future, that I can actually incorporate it in the future because I want to make sure every letter should occur once. So I also need to make sure, okay, what is the last occurrence of every character? So I'll just make sure one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So I'll make sure, okay, my last occurrence of my C stores at four. My last occurrence of B stores as three. My last occurrence of A stores as my two. So just have to make sure if I am at the index two and I am about to remove my character C, so I should be knowing the last occurrence should be more than my two. 
should be more than my i index 2 so i got to know i will use two data structures one is my hash map or you can also use a vector because you know we have only 26 characters and i will use a stack again now let's come back and actually try to replicate and dry run so what we did was we have a simple character okay it is the first character so simply push back then i encountered a b again b is actually smaller than c so b will try to come in the very beginning we the b will try to come before c so he will try to remove c but he can remove c only and only when he knows that c can come in future so i will as i mentioned i will make sure okay last index of every character we can see last index of c is actually a 7 so if last index of c is a 7 so i i know one thing for sure okay my top element this is the incoming element this is the incoming element now i know okay my top element of the stack which is the c right here is actually more than my incoming element so my incoming element which is ith element will try to remove my top element but he can remove only when the last index of the top element of the stack his index is actually more than this index i so that's to know okay it can come in future also and i can see its index is 7 which is actually more than my current index which is actually 1 so i know that it can come in future so i can easily remove him okay i removed him so you will see that okay i compare the top element with the current ith element and also i will make sure that okay his last index should be more than my index that i know okay he can come later on after me and i will simply remove him i will simply remove him which means pop it out from the start now great i have a b here now comes the a okay a will come a will also function the same way before him is a larger element but he want small he's a smaller one so he want to come before so he will do okay he will try to check b can come next yeah b can come next so and for sure i have a b next and he can come next and for sure he is larger than a then he will be removed okay i will have a then again a c will come okay c is more than my a so for sure i can place my c it is lexographically in the order in the lexographical small order okay then i encounter a d d is more than my c so i can place after my c okay again i encountered a c oh i encountered a c but you will saw you saw you like you remembered right every element should occur only once i know i have encountered c already so why should i place a c now i will not place a c i will skip so okay bhaiya now we remembered we will need one more data structure so i will have to make sure what all elements i have seen so far if i have seen something previously i will not push it again i will not push it again i will simply move on to next character so apart from using a hash map apart from using a stack i'll also use a scene data structure so as to make sure that if i have seen something i should skip okay i'll skip this i'll go on to my b okay as i go on to my b okay but bhaiya b b will try to come before c and d but b will check okay b will check and try to replace my d oh for sure b can replace my d but d should be occurring after b somewhere else but i cannot see d occurring anywhere so unfortunately b cannot remove my d he has to be here okay b will still remain here then i'll go on to next character which is c ultimately if it goes to c we know that c is already there with because of my scene data structure which is nothing but because of my scene i will make an array data structure because of that it will not be ingested in my answer and that's how ultimately in my stack i will have a c d b now ultimately you know that you have to return the answer as a c d b so what you can do is okay get this into an array or basically in string okay let's say b d c a because in a stack you remember things go in from top to bottom like things can be popped up from top from the top only so i'll get a b first and then d and then c and then a but i want to get the answer as a c d b so simply reverse this and get the answer that is how we can simply perform this now i'll use the exact same this is the exact same operation which you wanted to perform this is the only crux of this entire problem now if we go back and look at the code so firstly if we go and see that we will have a scene data structure which will say if that character was seen or not again i can use an unordered map also for this i will have a stack of characters because i know i'll only be pushing characters inside my stack 
now i will also have to maintain the last index because we know that okay we can pop an element from the stack provided that element is more than the incoming element and also that elements index last index is actually more than the current index so that i i know okay he can come later on after me so i can remove him right now so i'll maintain okay i'll go on and keep on updating the last index for every character or other way to do, other way to solve this is that okay you go on from the end and if something is updated once you will not update it later on or you go on from the very beginning and you will keep on updating until you are able to update that so last update will be the last index for that specific character now great we have got the last index we have got the stack we have got the scene now i'll simply go on to all the characters of my string as i was going on in the dry run also now i'll check if that current character will be the current character right if firstly if if, if that character is seen then simply continue then simply skip it as you remembered i had this c character right it was already seen so simply skip it okay i'll simply skip it simply continue but while as you remembered in the very beginning in the very beginning my when my a entered the picture when my a entered the picture uh, this one was right here as you remember in the very beginning when my a entered yeah my b and c came and then when a entered the picture a will keep on checking until the stack is empty so while my stack is not empty so this is the condition which i will make sure i will apply so if i you see while my stack is not empty which means while my stack size is more than equal to zero and the top element of the stack if it is more than my current element because if it is more which means i'll try to come before right i'll try to come and be lexicographically smallest and also the last index of that top element is actually more than mine which means he can come after me so i will i can simply blindly remove that element so i'll simply say stack dot pop but you remember you are maintaining a scene also right here you, you are maintaining a scene for that specific so you will okay when you have removed it so you should also put the scene as false so i'll put my scene of the top element as false also so that at least i should know okay i have not seen this earlier if maybe i have seen this but now i have removed it so basically it is not seen now so i'll simply put this okay it is not seen and also remove it from the stack now when this entire thing is done okay i can now push my current character into my stack so i'll just push it that push it that character and then ultimately the scene will also become a true for him now you will now as soon as this entire characters are done you know your stack has the unique characters in the lexicographically smallest order so now you can just build your answer so you will just start removing from the stack but you remember if you start removing from the stack they are made in the reverse order so you have to reverse it down so i'll simply reverse it down to get my final answer and that's how i can simply solve it now the time complexity and the space complexity of this algorithm is time is o of n because you are iterating on all of the characters one by one space is o of 26 26 for your scene 26 for your stack because your stack will at a point of time will only contain the unique characters only you remember if something is duplicate you are not even pushing that in the stack because of your scene right and your last index will also be storing again plus 26 for your last index last index will also be storing nothing but your every character's last index value which will again be just 26 characters so in total it's a constant space operation which we are doing and that's how this is the best case time complexity of this problem i hope that you, I, I hope that you have got it take care bye bye